Sorry in advance about my hair. It's too long, so it's in a ponytail. All right, Red Wings just played the Boston Bruins. First time they faced Tyler Bertuzzi. Kind of weird for the team, I imagine. He didn't score, and they won 3-2, but they started off the game 2-0. Who would have seen that coming? Uh, short, no, not shot. Forgive me. Cop scored, and then the second goal was by... I forget. I want to say it was a defenseman. I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments. But I'm watching this game, and I'm wondering, you know, they got 67 points. Uh, the next closest team behind them is, like, 59. They're not going to get a great draft pick. I mean, what's nice is they have the um, they have the Islanders pick, and obviously it's top 12 protected. So we want them to finish early in the playoffs or just uh, be a fringe wild card team and not make the playoffs. That would be ideal. Okay, so there's that. I honestly don't know what the good are good. We want shooters on our team. We want, we want people that can score goals. It's what they are missing. And Connor Bedard's a goal scorer. Matve Mitchkov's a goal scorer. I think Adam Fantilli is, but Leo Carlson definitely is. He's a like a six foot three winger center that plays in the SHL. People have compared him to Miko Rantanen. So those are the top players that are going to be picked. I don't know who's going after that. That I got to do some research on, but uh, they're going to try and draft a goal scorer. That's my that's my guess. Okay, next thing I wanted to mention was Marco Gasper. Uh, I think Prashant there said, no, it was probably Max Boltman because he's a beat reporter. He said that he's going to most likely be playing in North America next year, so that'll be cool to see him in GR, uh, at least in Traverse City training camp, and then, um, you know, playing his first full season here. All right, final point. So next year is going to be Cider and Raymond's final year of their entry-level contract, and I mean, Sider's performed excellently. We know he's going to, I don't know, get somewhere between seven and nine million max contract. I'd be, I'd be like shocked if that did not happen. But Raymond's a different story. You know, he had a good rookie year. He had somewhere between sixty and seventy points. This year, uh, it's been a little bit down. I actually don't know the comparison side by side, but I think he's close to where he was at last year. But the times he did not play with Dylan Larkin. He didn't look great, so well, my guess is is if he doesn't have a killer killer year next year, he'll get offered a bridge contract, and he will be, so he's turning 21 this year if he hasn't already. He'll be 22 at the end of next year. I think he'll get a bridge contract for a year, two years, who knows, for somewhere between four and five million, and... I was going to try and play his mind out. But right now, like, if I was going to offer him an eight-year max contract, like, we can assume Sider is going to get, I wouldn't pay him more than Andrew Kopp money. I don't even think I'd – I mean, okay, let's – let me back up a little bit. If you're going to offer him a bridge contract, maybe since their cap situation is not bad, maybe you give him $6 million. Um, But I don't think he – I don't think he's earned that. Uh, I think he's, like I, – I, th I think I said – I think three and four was too low. I don't. I don't think – 60 plus point person is that is that low um but I, my guess is somewhere between five and six and a half that i think that's his ceiling at this point so i'm really expecting him to have an absolutely kick-ass year next year and yeah, i mean he should he's gonna be a third year in the nhl will be stronger we think and um i don't know maybe he'll figure out ways to be more uh uh less reliant on players like dylan larkin and Maybe their lineup will be better. I don't know, but that's a big that's a big question. I'm wondering these days. All right, I'm in traffic now. And that's all I got. Um, I mean, I, I didn't think they were gonna win today, but I'm not surprised. And uh, <laughs> we'll probably lose again tomorrow when they play the Bruins at home. All right, cheers.